everyone it's Lindy okay so here is another sold video of everything that has sold over the last few days good morning everybody it is Monday February 6th and I have 12 packages going out from the weekend um, so sales started picking up yesterday oh, thank God. but I used to do like 20, 25 on uh, Monday mornings. So 12 is still only like half of what I'm used to. But super thankful for those sales that I do have. Right? Right. Okay. So real quick, I'm just going to fly through these 12 packages. Okay. The first thing that's going out is a lot of fun dip. Each bag has... Seven pouches. So each bag has seven pouches, and I sold a lot of four bags. So that's a total of 28 pouches. Uh, sale price was $13.49 with free shipping. Now, it is a listing that I created before the price increase for the postage, um, and I did not change the price just because, honestly, these sat for a long time in my store. Um, so $13.49 with free shipping. Uh, I paid a dollar for each pack and it's going to cost four sixteen dollars to ship these first class. So after fees, shipping, and product cost, my total profit on the $13.49 sale is $3.02. So I didn't exactly double my money back, mainly because of the postage increase. I would have doubled my money back if not for that postage increase. But um, they sold finally, so those are going. And then I sold Ty, Oscar the Owl, Little Plush. He's just, see this is how little he is. He looks really big. Big Oscar the Plush. Little Oscar the Plush. Big Oscar the Plush. Anyway, sorry, just playing around. But it's a Ty. And um, he sold for eight, I'm keep referring back so I can see what the prices are because I've been charging shipping on everything. He sold for $8.79 plus shipping. So the total purchase price was $12.18. I paid a quarter for him at a garage sale and he is going to cost $2.61 to ship because he weighs four ounces with packaging. And so after fees, shipping, and product cost, my total profit on the $12.18 sale is $7.57 for Oscar. And then I did have some auctions end last night. Uh, this is the only one that paid in order to get it shipped today. There's a few that are awaiting payment still. Um, but it's a Nike golf polo and it's a size large. It's just a hunter green stripe polo. I was very, very surprised that this has been sitting as long as it has been. Um, it has seriously been in my store for like four months. And this was like the third or fourth week on auction and it finally sold. It sold for a bit of $2.99 plus shipping. So the total purchase price was $7.17. Um, it's going to cost $3.32 to ship this. Um, it weighs right about nine ounces with the shipping. And I did pay $2 for it, 50% off at my Goodwill. So after fees, shipping, and product cost, my total profit is only 70 cents. But you know what? it's going I don't have to look at it anymore someone got a really good deal on a Nike polo and um, it possibly drove some traffic to my store so I'm happy about that and I didn't go in the hole next up is this a buyer top it's just a really pretty top and it's a size extra large it's really pretty I like it um, it sold on best offer for six dollars plus shipping so the total purchase price was 988 and it is going to cost $2.77 to ship by weight. It weighs right about eight ounces with packaging. And I paid 93 cents for it on a trip to the bins. And after fees, shipping, product cost, and my assistance drafting fee, the total profit on the 9.88 sale is $3.95. Then next we have this gorgeous ANA semi sheer blouse. I hauled this for you guys and I was raving about how pretty it is. Ah, someone bought it within a week. Um, it's a size 2X and it's a semi sheer rosy red top and it's sold for $9 plus shipping. 
So the total purchase price was $12.88, and I paid $2 for it, half off at Goodwill. And it's gonna cost $2.61 to ship because it actually only weighs four ounces with the packaging material. It's really, really lightweight. So after fees, shipping, product cost, and drafting fee, my total profit on the $12.88 sale is $5.69. Then I sold this little boy's puppy dog halo sleep sack. It's just one of those, you know, safety blanket sleep sacks. Um, it was sitting for a long time. So I went ahead and took an offer of, what was it? Uh, $5 plus shipping. So the total purchase price was $8.39. And I picked it up for 75 cents, 50% uh, off at my Goodwill. It is going to cost 277 to ship because it weighs about eight ounces with packaging. And so after fees, shipping, and product cost, my total profit on the 839 sale is three dollars and fifty-seven cents. And then sold this men's size 3x American flag and eagle t-shirt it sold on best offer for eight dollars plus shipping so the total purchase price was twelve dollars and forty eight cents it is going to cost three forty six to ship and I paid two dollars for it fifty percent off at my goodwill and so after fees, shipping, and product cost, my total profit on the $12.48 sale is $5.23. And now we get into the pants. Okay, here are some Lucky Brand khakis. And they're a size 4. And they're just a boot cut khaki pant. They sold for... $19.99 plus shipping, so the total purchase price was $26.87, and I picked them up at the bins for $0.93. Cents. They are going to cost $5.75 to ship in a regular uh, flat rate envelope, and so after fees, shipping, product cost, and drafting fee, my total profit on the $26.87 sale is $15.94. Clearly, lucky brand that's not Jean does much better for me. Next we have Gap, you can't really, uh, Gap, pre it says premium straight, that's what it says in the embroidery, premium straight leg jeans, and they are a size 16 or 33 regular. They sold for, uh, I took a lot of best offers so I'm having to switch back and forth, $13 plus shipping. Uh, so the total purchase price was $19.88. I picked them up for $2, 50% off at my Goodwill. They're going to cost $6.05 to ship in a priority legal flat rate envelope. And so after fees, shipping, product cost, and drafting fee, my total profit on the $19.88 sale is $8.41 for those jeans. Next up, we have another pair of Gap, but these are the Gap Legging Jeans, and they're a size 29 or 8 regular, and they're just a skinny denim legging, and they sold for $15.50 best offer plus shipping, so the total purchase price was $22.38. They're going to cost $5.75 to ship in a regular priority flat rate envelope. Um, I did pick them up at the bins for $0.93. Cents. And so after fees, shipping, and product cost with the drafting fee, my total profit on the $22.38 sale is $11.99. Okay, next up, we have these A New Approach jeans. They're a size 18W, and they're just a regular boot wash jean, and they sold for um um. Hold on, you guys, I'm looking. Twelve dollars best offer plus shipping. 
I must not be ready this morning. I am so sorry. So the total purchase price was $18.88. I paid $2 for them, 50% off at my Goodwill. They're going to cost $6.05 to ship in a priority legal flat rate envelope. So after fees, shipping, product cost, and drafting fee, my total profit on the $18.88 sale is $7.53. And then the last thing I have to show you guys are these men's Rough Rider jeans, and they are a size 38. They sold on Best Offer for $10 plus shipping, so the total purchase price was $19.88. Um, they are actually going to cost $7.62 to ship priority by weight. Um, I originally thought I was going to put them in a regional A box, uh, however, I have none left. I ordered some, I'm waiting for them to come. I thought that I grabbed more from my postal annex. I guess I didn't. I don't have any more. Um, and so I just went ahead and said, oh, we'll just do by weight. So it's going to cost $7.62 because they, they will not ship in a uh, padded flat rate or legal flat rate. I couldn't really get them to fit. I tried. So anywho's, I picked them up at Goodwill Bins for $0.93. Cents. And so after fees, shipping, product cost, and drafting fee, my total profit on the 1988 sale is $7.91. That's everything I have going out this morning. Here are the screenshots. Hi, everybody. Yes. I am not wearing the same outfit two days in a row. It is still Monday, it is still February 6th, but I'm doing shipping tonight. It's nighttime, February 6th, uh, because I am planning to go sourcing in Topeka all day tomorrow. So I can't do shipping in the morning because I'm leaving bright and early. So doing shipping tonight. So I have five things that I'm packaging up. And uh, so let me just let me just show you. Okay, so this was something that ended on auction yesterday. Um, it's something that I had just sitting way, way too long. It's a men's Ivy Crew size extra large button front shirt. It sold on auction for a dollar ninety nine plus shipping. So the total purchase price was six seventeen. It's going to cost three forty six to ship, and I picked it up for a dollar from a private seller. So after fees, shipping, and product cost, my total profit is only $0.68 cents on it, but I was tired of looking at it, it's gone, and I didn't go in the hole. And then this was also an auction item. It is American Eagle Outfitters, and it's a size medium. It's just a button front shirt. Um, this sold on auction for $2.99 plus shipping, so the total purchase price was $7.17. I paid $2 for it, 50% off at my Goodwill, and it's going to cost $2.77 to ship. It weighs right on 8 ounces with packaging. So after fees, shipping, and product cost, my total profit on the $7.17 sale is only $1.25. But again, I didn't go in the hole, and it's moving merchandise. The next thing that I have going out is this wallflower top. It is new with tags. It ended up going on best offer for $10 plus shipping, so the total purchase price is $13.77. I picked this up for $2, 50% off at my Goodwill, and it's going to cost $2.61 to ship. It weighs four ounces with packaging. So after fees, shipping, and product costs, my total profit on the $13.77 sale is seven dollars and twenty two cents and then the last two things I have are both pairs of jeans these are LL Bean relaxed fit jeans and they are size 16 tall Ooh, they're tall size 16 tall they sold on best offer for nine dollars plus shipping so the total purchase price was fifteen dollars and forty seven cents they are going to cost $6.05 to ship an illegal flat rate envelope. And I paid $2 for them, 50% off at my Goodwill. So after fees, shipping, and product costs, my total profit on the $15.47 sale is $5.28. And then the last thing are these Levi's Perfect Waist 525 
straight leg jeans and they're a size 16 short and they sold for $15 plus shipping so the total purchase price was $21.88 I picked them up for $2 50% off at my goodwill and they are also going to ship in a legal flat rate envelope for $6.05 so after fees, shipping, product cost, and drafting fee, my total profit on the $21.88 sale is $10.18. That's what I have going out for the morning. Here are the screenshots. Okay, had two more sales come in. Two more pairs of jeans. Maurice's size 18 short, regular boot cut jeans, sold for $22.99 plus shipping, so the total purchase price was $29.87. I paid $4 for them at my Goodwill and they're going to cost $6.05 to ship in a flat rate envelope, a legal flat rate envelope. And so after fees, shipping and product cost uh, and drafting fee, total profit on the $29.87 sale is $15.22. And the other pair of jeans that just sold are these BKE Denim Payton boot cut jeans size 29 and they are nicely distressed with some acid wash on them they sold on best offer for $17 plus shipping so the total purchase price was $23.88 they are also going to ship in a legal flat rate envelope for $6.05 and I picked them up for $2 50% off at my goodwill so after fees, shipping, and product cost, and drafting fee, my total profit on the $23.88 sale is $11.94. Now here come the screenshots. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, February 8th, and I have some packages going out today. Um, I have four going out. So let's get started. Okay, so I have this Taylor Swift 1989 World Tour concert t-shirt. It's a size extra large and it sold uh, for $9.99 plus shipping, so the total purchase price was $13.87. I picked it up on a trip to the bins, and it's going to cost $2.77 to ship by weight. It weighs less than 8 ounces. And so after fees, shipping, product cost, and drafting fee, my total profit on the $13.87 sale is $7.47. And then the next top that I have going out it's this really super cute pink owl top it is new with tags it's pink owl and it's a size large it's just this fun little tunic and it has a semi sheer overlay and semi sheer sleeves uh, it's sold for I just have the total price here I believe it was $12 best offer plus shipping so the total purchase price was $15.87 um, I did pay 93 cents for it on a trip to Goodwill Outlet and it's going to cost $2.77 to ship by weight it weighs 8 ounces with packaging and so after fees shipping product cost uh, and there was no drafting fee I drafted this one uh, the total profit on the $15.87 sale is $9.98 and then I have two pairs of jeans going out. The first one is these Lane Bryant boot cut and it does have the tighter tummy technology and they are size 18 petite. And they're really, really nice jeans. And they sold for, I believe it was $27.99 plus shipping. So the total purchase price was $34.87. Uh, I did pay $4 for these full price at my Goodwill and they're going to cost $6.05 to ship in a legal flat rate envelope. So after fees, shipping, product cost, and drafting fee, my total profit on the $34.87 sale is $19.62 on those jeans. And then the last pair of jeans are Maurice's and they are a size 15-16. 
They're a really, really nice distressed patchwork boot cut jean. Are they boot? Yes, they're boot cut jeans. Um, they sold on Best Offer for $7 plus shipping. The reason why I let them go so much cheaper, these normally would have been $20 jeans. I let them go so much cheaper because it was noted in the listing that there is some wearing um, and it was photographed. So I took a Best Offer of seven and they came, I got them from Goodwill Outlet. Um, so I paid 93 cents for them and they're going to co uh, cost 605 to ship in a legal flat rate envelope. And so after fees, shipping, product cost, and drafting fee, my total profit on the $13.88 sale is $4.20. That's everything going out this morning. Here are the screenshots. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this kind of video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know. If you have any questions or comments, you can feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, I hope you will. And thank you guys again so much for watching. I will see you with my next video. Bye.